in our last lesson, we talked about uh, the secrets of happiness. Um, we mm -hmm. talked about some of the things that uh, make people happy. And there was this list. And uh, I think according to uh, the study, um, the, the answer was actually genes are an important part or maybe the most important part, according to some scientists. And this decides how happy we are. And I think the way they found this was by doing twin studies. And they found that uh, twins usually have similar levels of happiness, right? So genes, it seems to be the most important uh, reason for happiness. Some people are just born happier, it seems. Um, it says being married is another important reason, friends and family, not wanting more than you've got, helping others, religion, being attractive, growing old. It's not a very important uh, reason to why people are happy or not. And this is because of course, uh, older people are not any unhappier than younger people. And they have the same mm -hmm. level of happiness, so it's not an important factor. Then we have money. And the last thing is intelligence. It seems that intelligence doesn't play a big part in, in how happy we are. So we talked about that, we talked about that study. And uh, after that, we also did a little bit of uh, listening, but but I think the first thing we started with was some vocab. All of these are mm -hmm. weekend activities. So you can visit uh, visit relatives, you can have a lion, you can go to concerts or gigs or festivals. You can chat to friends online. You can have a quiet night in uh, the same thing. You can do some yoga. So you can meet up also, meet up with friends, tidy up the house, go to museums. You can uh, maybe you could do some exercise, have people around for dinner. You can go out for a meal, go out for a, a cup of coffee, go out for a drink, whatever it is. Doctor, excuse yes. me. Mm -hmm. You've already started intermediate, listen. Yes. Well, we just you... did the exam on Wednesday. Yeah, we, we kept you busy with the exam and we started while, while you were exam doing your exam. <laughs> when? Uh, on the same day. Uh, on the same day. I sent you the... I think started I with who? <laughs> started with a big group. There were lots of people. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the only students who weren't there were you and Malak and Siam. You weren't there. But uh, there's uh, Sana and there's Hajar. These are also new students in the intermediate class. Siam, um, well, uh, continue. I don't think so. I think she might she might have to do pre-intermediate again. I, uh, her mark, her results weren't. I haven't corrected all of them yet, but then I don't think they're as good as yours and uh, Malak's, because she also started late. You know, she started the pre-intermediate in the middle before you started so she didn't really start it from the beginning and I think she's missing some things so she might have to she might have to do uh, the pre-intermediate again so uh, when you were doing the exam um, we had we had an open lesson and also other people who weren't in the class joined so uh, yeah so we talked about this topic the topic of happiness. Mm. Uh, did you see the, the lecture? Did you see the recorded lecture? He sent me the pre-intermediate. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I didn't send you this one. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I also uploaded it. Are you subscribed to the channel, Najat, to the YouTube channel? No? no. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, you should you should find it, but I'll send you the link because I also uploaded the, this episode, this uh, lesson. I mean, I also uploaded Excuse it. Excuse me, a minute, okay. Okay, take your time. Um, so we talked about this. We also talked about um, the differences between object questions and subject questions. Um, um, 
Hajar, did I send you the, the link to the video, Hajar? Yes. Did I send it now or did I send it earlier? Uh, now. Mm. Okay. Okay, no problem. So you can take a look at some of the things we covered in our last lesson because okay. we talked about, uh, it was like a, an introduction or maybe a revision of some of the, the previous grammar we studied um, here. We talked about some of the differences between present simple, past simple, present continuous and present perfect simple. And um, we, we took some questions, which are questions number two, three and four, and we just copied them. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, where is it? So the idea was to find, uh, to copy question number two, three and four, to write them here in the box. And this way we can see the differences in the auxiliary and in the verb. So for example, past uh, simple, present simple, this is the first question. How often does Fiona teach yoga. So this was uh, the present simple question. Now question number uh, two, what is Fiona's son doing at the moment? Uh, what kind of question is this? Who can tell me? Present continuous. Exactly. What? That's correct. Yeah. Because we have uh, what is, so is, and then we have doing, Moment. And of course we at have the at the moment. And uh, these are all expressions, especially at the moment or now, these are phrases used specifically for the present continuous. So we did that. Then number three, what did Fiona do last Sunday? What's this? What kind of question is this? What did Fiona past, do that? Past and simple. That's right, past simple. Mm -hmm. This is a past simple question because we have did, Number four, how many songs has Maxi written? What kind of question is this? Uh, present perfect. Present perfect, exactly. Because we have has, and then we have written. So this is a present perfect question. Exactly right. Uh, so this is the first thing we did. And this means that uh, Fiona's son doing at the moment is present continuous. What did Fiona do last Sunday? This is past simple. And of course, this is the present perfect. So we talked a little bit about that. And then this is the question that got us uh, talking a lot. This question about uh, the object or the subject in each question. And here, of course, the focus is questions five to nine, five to nine. So five to nine, and of course, number eight and nine, especially, especially eight and nine, were a little different. These two were slightly different. Can you tell us how different or why they were different, Sana? Can you remember? Uh, yes, I remember. Uh, without auxiliary verb, uh, without auxiliary. Correct. Uh, yes, and uh, ask it about the subject. Who did this? Or... Correct, exactly right, yes. yes. Question number eight and nine, if you pay attention to them, these are subject questions. They're not asking about the object of the sentence. They're asking about the subject and we don't have any auxiliary and we don't have an infinitive, right? Can you see? No infinitives yeah. here. And this is strange, right? Because we're used to in, in the normal, in normal questions. I mean, if you check all the other questions, right? Let me put a little box here around uh, the auxiliaries, the infinitive. So here we have teach infinitive. Uh, from present continuous, uh, doesn't have an it doesn't have an infinitive, of course. Mm -hmm. What did Fiona's son do? Here we have another infinitive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the simple tense, past simple and present simple, we always use an infinitive. But number eight, this is the tense is present, but there's no infinitive. Makes is not an infinitive. Make 
is the infinitive, right? So this looks like a positive yeah. sentence. She makes her husband happy or uh, he makes her, his wife happy. So this looks like a positive sentence, right? Because we have the, 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 the S from the present uh, simple. So my point is the same thing here. Do you see? We don't yeah. say who visits, we say who visits because these are subject questions. So they're a bit different. Subject questions are not, not the same form as uh, these questions. So subject questions don't follow this, this table. It's not the same. Do you get the idea? They don't follow the same order. They're a bit different. Um, let me just show you quickly, very quickly, the summary here, uh, which talks about uh, subject questions. So you can just take a look. Here they are. So this is the, the box that showed the main differences between subject questions and normal, uh, non-subject questions. So the first thing is most questions with auxiliaries ask about the object. So when we say how many songs has Maxi written, he's written about 25 songs. So this is actually the, the, the object of the sentence. These are the normal questions that we, we used in the table, right? Uh, this is present perfect. The same thing here, subject question asks about the subject of the, the sentence. What makes her husband happy? Cooking makes her husband happy, makes him happy. So cooking is, is the subject of the, of the answer, but 25 songs, this is the object of the answer. Do, do, you, do you see the difference? Mm. So yeah. subject questions ask about something different from object questions. It's not the same thing. And of course, just like Sana said, we don't use do, we don't use does, we don't use did in subject questions. So we say who visits them most weekend. We don't say who does visit, no. We use the verb who visits. Who plays football more, Ahmed or Mohammed? Ahmed plays football more. Do you get the idea? So we're asking about the subject. Again, it says, this is the, the, the point I was telling you about. Subject questions have the same order as positive sentences. Because remember, when we studied uh, questions in any tense, WH questions, yes, no questions, usually questions are different. They're not written in the same word order as uh, positive sentences, right? So if you say, I'm a teacher, if, what, if I want to make it into a question, I will say, am I a teacher, right? So I have to change the order. I have to put verb to be in the beginning. Or if, if I say, John plays football, if I want to make this into a question, I have to say, does John play football, right? So there's a change in yep. order. But subject questions have the same order. Can you see this one? Let me put it in a blue box. Can you see this example here? This one, who visits them most weekends? Hello. Hello, hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How about you, Manak? Fine, alhamdulillah. Uh, all right, we're just quickly reviewing some of the things from last lesson. And here I'm just talking about subject questions. I think we talked about subject questions in pre intermediate, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we did, yeah. So this is uh, just the same thing. They're, they're talking about subject questions. They're saying how different subject questions are from non-subject questions because non-subject questions or normal questions, they usually ask about the subject, uh, the, sorry, the object of uh, the question. But uh, subject questions are kind of different. With subject questions, they ask about the subject. And subject questions have the same order as positive sentences. So if you say he plays football, an object, a subject question will be who plays football, right? So if you say John plays football, the question is who plays football? Let me show you here. Let me show you how you can make an object question 
and the subject question from the same sentence. So this is our sentence. Uh, let's say Azure Studies Intermediate. Okay, I want you to make this into uh, a subject question and a non-subject question. Who can do this? Yeah. Okay, I can try. Okay. Uh -huh. Who studies intermediate course? Okay, good. Who studies intermediate? What kind of question is this? Uh, this is subject question. Very subject. good. Yeah. And what's the answer for this question? Hazard studies intermediate. Yeah, just hazard. Hazard. Uh, okay. And what about a non-subject question? Mm. Um. A non-subject question? Yes. Mm -hmm. This means, it means I, normal, 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 normal. Yeah, yeah, normal question. What's the normal question? Who uh, who does a study intermediate? No. No, 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 no. 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 There's auxiliary. Maybe what has your uh, what uh, has your uh, what does has your uh, study. study study? Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. It's a WH question. What mm -hmm. does Hazard study. What does she study? And the complete answer would be she studies intermediate. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You get the idea? Yes. So if you check in the second question, we were asking about the subject, Hazard. Right? When we say who studies intermediate, the answer is Hazard. Hajar is the subject of the question, the sentence. Al Fa'al nafsa. Do you get the idea? Yeah. The first question, who studies intermediate? Like non-subject question. The object of the object What does Hajar study? She studies intermediate. Yani al farq al haqiqi ban al subject question and non-subject question. اللي هو على شن تسأل أنت بالضبط في الجملة. Mm. Do you get the idea? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So this is the main difference. It, it, it sounds complicated, but I think if you understand what we're asking about, يعني مجرد اختلاف في على شن نسأله. That's that's all. Okay. okay. So we we talked a little bit about this in our last lesson. Um, what else did we talk about? I think that's all. Now we have a little bit of listening and we have an exercise. So mm. we're going to do this now. Okay, let me show you. And uh, where is it? Uh, let me go back to the page. Page display enable scrolling. All right, so uh, this was the grammar box. Now I'm going to, don't know why this is answered, but I think I can cover it. Okay. All right, so we're going to practice some of the ideas we talked about. Um, differences between object questions, subject questions, uh, when to use auxiliaries, when to skip auxiliaries. So we want to use all of this here in this exercise, but just let me check. I think someone is going to sign in. Uh, no, nobody's signing in. Okay, so it says here, fill in the gaps with, um, with the, in these questions with do, 
are, have, did, or no auxiliary. So we actually have five options to answer. Mm -hmm. Do, are, have, did, or no auxiliary. Okay, so the first question, whereabouts do you live? So whereabouts is like where? It's the same, it's the same meaning really. Mm -hmm. But usually when you say whereabouts do you live, I think the focus is more on, uh, uh, it's more on the city, not the country. So if, if usually this question, especially in British English, if someone asks you, where are you from? And you say, I'm from, let's say uh, Libya, they might ask this questions, whereabouts in Libya? It means which city? So it's a bit like this. Anyways, number two. Who would like to do number two? Um, have, maybe have, have you lived? Have you lived? Have, yeah. okay. Have. Let's, let's use have. Oops. How long? What about number three? No need. No uh, need. Yes. Why? Because you're asking about the subject. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, they're asking about the subject. So there is no real need for any auxiliary here. So let's just skip it. What about number four? What time do you do? You do, do you get up? Why did we use do? Do you get because up? Because present uh, symbol sometimes. Correct get up yeah because we have yes. get up. but yes. but and ask about the routine i think correct it's asking about mm -hmm. the routine correct mm -hmm. number five why are you studying in correct but why why did we use because the studying ing mm -hmm. because present continuous. continues yes, yes present continues and studying ing that's right what about number six where did, did you go where did you go on holiday last correct year. correct but why did we use did because yes, it's last last year. Year. exactly we have a time phrase from the past mm -hmm. simple number seven have, have you fasted right but why because uh, how many countries have you uh, I don't uh, see uh, the all of the sentence because there is uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in you in whole uh, your life, how many countries? Correct, in your whole life. So now, what did you say? Uh, I don't oh. see the <laughs> uh, the completed of the question because there is uh, in the Zoom you you mm. picture and, <laughs> and that's why maybe I don't see the. Uh, the end of the sentence of the end of the question. You mean my picture is in front of uh, the, the yeah, exercise? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this means my, my picture is more important than the exercise. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, let, let me see if I can move it. Let's see. Uh, uh, not, not move it, maybe if you can, uh, maybe... Uh, Go I, in the. I think you can move it. Uh, can you check now? Did it move? <laughs> no, because yeah. all. If I move like this. Can... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is in your uh, uh, application or in your phone. Yeah. Yes, because uh, uh, we uh, uh, we see the picture. Uh, yeah, it's good. And uh, see the names of the the student. That's why maybe I couldn't. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The book can move mid move. No, uh, you move the. Uh, how I can do because I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> did you move it? And you broke. Can you get the القائمة هذه اللي فيها الحاضرين تقدر تدري لها زين minimize تغيرها نحها. Okay. Did you do it? Uh, uh, hide hide uh, non-video practice or hide self-view or what? Uh... Try it. No, oh. if you... Uh, okay, is... okay, now, okay, I could, uh, I do this, <laughs> I do. Can you see it now? Yes, but your picture, no. <laughs> you can't see my picture? 
cash. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll send it to you after the lesson. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can keep it. Okay. So, so correct. Najat's answer is correct. Actually, yes. We need the present perfect here because this is. They're asking about yeah, your please. life in general. How many countries? Now I see real victory. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> you yeah. are talking, and I finished the uh, answer. <laughs> yeah. Hello. All right. Okay. So, have you can, visited? Can we put it? That? Ah, good question. You can't, but I want you to tell me why you can't use it. Why, why can't you use it? What's the reason? Uh, we can't use it because visited. Uh, we bought visited with a D. Yeah. Uh, with the bus, yeah, time, yeah. Always uh, infinitive time expression. Yeah. Mm. When we bought that, we uh, we move uh, the the letter yeah. D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Visit. Exactly. You need to use an infinitive. You need to use an yes. infinitive. And, yeah. Yes. Correct. And also, even the meaning is um, is not the same because if you say how many countries did you visit. This automatically means that you're not going to visit any new country. Okay. Do you get the idea? Because yeah, with, yeah. with actions that have past simple, they usually show uh, that the action is complete. The action is finished. It's over. Do you get the idea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to have you visited, it means until now. So maybe mm -hmm. tomorrow you have a, a trip to a new country. The, the action is not closed. It's just related to the moment of speaking. How many okay. countries have you visited? And yeah, you present perfect until now. Maybe, like I said, next week there's a new trip. Who knows? But if you use did, something happened in the past. Yeah, and it's the action is also over. It means you're not going to travel again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very similar to, we had this in pre-intermediate, um, like this one. Uh, how long have, and this question. What's the difference? Uh, who can tell me from uh, Hajar or Sana? Because I think uh, Malak and uh, Najat, I think they know the answer. But what about mm -hmm. you, uh, uh, Naj uh, Hajar and Sana? What's the difference mm -hmm. between these two questions? Uh, first. I, okay. Okay, go on. Okay, uh, I think uh, the first one, uh, the 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 action uh, still continues because uh, present perfect. Okay. And uh, the second one, uh, the, the action uh, finished mm -hmm. in the past. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh... This is correct, correct. Okay, you answered maybe 75% of the question. Correct. What he said is correct. Nothing wrong. But what does this mean? Um, if, if you say, how long have you known him? Think think about the verb know a little bit. Known uh, until now. Okay. Mm. Correct. Until now. But but if you say, did you know? What does it mean? Does does it mean that the action of knowing is is over? I think. Yes. Correct. The action of knowing is over in the second example. Mm -hmm. When does the action of knowing end usually? When does it usually end? In the, in the past, but for example, yeah. how do you uh, stop knowing a person? Yeah. Um, uh, when you when he died, passes away. Yeah, right? <laughs> you get the idea? Yeah. So if you say, yeah. how long did you know him? It means you don't know him anymore. It means he's dead. Yeah. The person died. He break up maybe or something. Yeah. Even if you break up with yeah. the person, even for example, in divorces, you cannot use this. How long did you know him? 
because he's still alive or her, she's oh, okay. still alive. This this means the person is dead. How long There's did you know? There's no more. Uh, There's no more knowing. Oh. <laughs> 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 with him. Oh, no more okay. no more knowing. Understand that. So mm. so this is one of the differences. The past simple dima nihai. Ashia nihai khalas mash. So the present perfect muftuh. Usually this is the, this is the, okay. the thing. Uh, you mean the second sentence uh, the person uh, died. Yes. If you use this, the Muslim, I understand. I understand. If you talk about a person, it's not there. How long did you know him? Uh, it's, it's different from how long have you known him. Have you known him? I mean, from the first meeting, from the first time you worked together, for example. Well, I've known him for ten years. I've been with 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 him for ten لتاريخ المعرفة بتاعكم لكن how long did you know him معناها كانت عندكم حقبة وخلاص انتهى okay alright okay alright yeah. now number eight what about number eight wow do we use an auxiliary or without who emails you Damas without 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 it's a subject question right yeah number nine What, What did, did you do yesterday? Did. Yeah, past simple. Mm -hmm. Because we have yesterday. And mm -hmm. yesterday, yesterday is gone. It's not going to come back. So, did. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Uh, What are you planning? What are you, are you planning? Yeah. This is a present continuous for the future. What are you planning mm -hmm. to do next weekend? The question is asking about arrangements or plans or something like that. Okay, so this mm -hmm. is this is you know it's like a cocktail of different tenses, subject questions, non-subject questions, past simple, present perfect, present simple. It's a nice mix of everything. Okay, let's let's talk a little bit about listening here. Let's take a look. So here it says, how do we usually say auxiliaries and you? Mm. All right, now. You have to keep in mind that auxiliaries are normally, um, they're unstressed. We don't stress them, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. So this means in sentences, when, when a person is speaking, or at least a native is speaking, what happens is the auxiliary is usually uh, linked or sort of squashed or smashed or whatever with the next word, with the... Um, With the pronoun, with the subject pronoun. Mm -hmm. So, for example, do you, you will not hear it in the sentence, do you. It will yeah. sound, it will sound, do ya, do ya. So it will yeah. sound like this, very short form. It will sound like, whereabouts do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Do you? Because we use this uh, schwa sound, which is an uh sound, and y. So this means the use every you, the you, it becomes you in the middle of the sentence. Do you get the idea? So, yep. do you, have you, uh, are you, did you? It sounds a little stupid, I know, but if you hear it in the middle of the sentence, it'll become a little clearer. You, can, you can't, yeah. Yeah, in the middle of the sentence, it comes out sort of normally or naturally for natives. But here, I think yep. the point is, uh, there. the point is not so much as to do it for us as learners, but to be aware of it, that natives will do this and they do it without being aware of it. This is a normal speech pattern. Do you get the idea? So this kind of unstressed form, uh, when you have an unstressed uh, auxiliary, and you combine it with an unstressed subject pronoun, you have this new sound. Now, I want you to hear this new sound. I'm going to play it on the CD. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll get what I mean. So let me show you here. Okay. Okay, so this is track 
number one and track number two. Ah, uh, track two, it's track two, not one. Track two. Whereabouts do you live? How long have you lived there? Who lives with you? What time do you get up on Sundays? Why are you studying English? Where did you go on holiday last year? How many countries have you visited? Who emails you the most? What did you do yesterday evening? What are you planning to do next weekend? Did, did you notice the, the sounds, the unstressed sounds? Yes. Okay, let me show you here. These are the, the sentences they read. Now, this time I want you to, to listen and also repeat, okay? So we want to just get used to this uh, unstressed form of saying you with an auxiliary, okay? So let's listen. Mm -hmm. Track two. Whereabouts do you live? Whereabouts do you live? Okay. How long have you lived there? How long have, how you, long have, you, long have you lived there? Did he say how long have you lived there or did he say how long have you lived there? Have you lived there? Have you lived there? He actually didn't say have you lived there. He said how long have you lived? Have, have, have you lived there? Uh, yeah, have, have, have you lived Yeah. And it's and it's combined, have you? Yeah. How long have you lived yeah. there? But of course, because we're reading it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're reading mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Like, that's why. Yeah. Like Maltese, I fear. Yeah, because because we our first language is Arabic. لغة العربية هذه من تأثيرات علينا لأن العربية تقرأ زي ما تكتب. فهذه من السمات المتكلمين باللغة العربية إنه يتعلموا إنجليزي إنه يقرأوا في المكتوب. But in, in English, it's not always like that. All right? So let's continue. Now, I just want you to repeat the sound, okay? So let's do it. Okay. Who lives with you? Who lives, Who lives with, with, with you? you? What time do you get up on Sundays? What, what time, time do you get up on Sundays? Sundays. Is it did or do? It's do, 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 do. Yeah, do. It's, it's do, you, but co when it's do. combined, do. Do. Yeah. Do. Yeah. Do. Yeah. what time do you wake up? What time do you get up? Mm -hmm. Why are you studying English? Why are you studying, why? studying English? Why you yes, studying? why are you studying? Because uh, here we have the U, which becomes Y, and the yeah. R, well, R here in the lower in British English, it's like Island, yeah. But it's like Aria. Aria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did you go on holiday last year? Where did, Where did you, you go on holiday you last year? Last year? Last year. Yeah, very good. And here with did, Hayat la sot al jah al jdidi khushbe. Yeah. Where did jah? Did jah? How many countries have you visited? How many countries have you visited? You visited. Have. Yani al have. Badal ma kant have. Have. Who emails you the most? Who emails you the most? Mm -hmm. What did you do yesterday evening? 
What did you do yesterday? Good. What are you planning to do next weekend? What are you planning to do next weekend? Right, very nice. Um, and of course, like I said, this doesn't mean you have to do it like this. do you, well, I have you, well, it's fine, there's nothing wrong. But keep in mind that the native who you're talking to he, uh, will probably not, not say them the same way. They will not use full forms. Mish hai stamil is stressed form. Al kamil hai the are, you, have, you, did, you. Mish hai gula li tariqa hai. Yani mujarid li tawayat. It's just to know. That's the idea. All right, very nice. So we talked here about auxiliaries when we use them with the subject pronoun you. We talked about the change uh, because they are unstressed. Uh, here we have number nine, blah, blah. Write five things you do that make you happy. Okay, these are just extra exercises. All right, let's talk about our next topic here. Love it or hate it. Um, so here we're going to talk about things we like, things we dislike. Um, we're also going to talk about negative and, and uh, positive verb forms. Um, let me see what else we have. Uh, okay, so we're going to learn different ways of, of using negatives. There is more than one way. You don't, you don't have to always use uh, the auxiliary to make a negative. You can also use, uh, you can also use adverbs of frequency and other uh, tricks. So we're going to learn them in this lesson. But let's start, first of all, let's start with, uh, let's start with vocabulary, okay? So we have likes, likes and dislikes. So it says here, work in pairs, match these phrases uh, to groups one to three. All right, so we have three groups. The first group is for things you really love, uh, things you love or things you like. And um, so these are expressions which mean love or like, okay? Number two, mm -hmm. it's in the middle. It's something that's okay. You don't really love it, but it's okay. This is the this is the meaning. And the last group are uh, is for words which for things you don't like. Expressions which mean you don't like something. Okay. And mm -hmm. we're going to use one, two, three in these examples. We're going to use them in front of these expressions. And we have this box. Can you see this box? Yes. Yeah. yeah, all of this box is full of, this box is full of different expressions and we're going to categorize them one, two, three, depending on what they mean, right? So you can, you can already see number one is answered. I really love, or I love, this is number one. This is saying you love or like something, okay? So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Now, saying something is okay, um, where do you think the expressions which shows that something is okay? Which one? I am not uh, very keen on. Okay, I'm not. I'm really, very really quite interested in. I'm really quite interested in. Here we want something in the middle. So when you say something is okay, it means mm -hmm. you don't love it and you don't hate it. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I think all uh, are all right. I think I it really, is all right. I, I really mean, enjoy. I really okay. enjoy. I think this is a little mm -hmm. strong. This is better with number one, right? Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Something like. I Something you don't like. mind. I don't mind. But I think it is uh, all right. Yeah. Okay, I, ha I have a better yeah. idea. Let's answer. I have a better idea. Let's answer the ones number one first, okay? Saying you love or like something because these are easier, I think, okay? So let's choose the ones we that mean you really like something or you really love something. All right? Uh, okay. Okay, so. Mm. I'm really very quite interested in. Okay. So maybe this is number one. Anything else? 
Um, I, I think enjoy. it's all. Okay, I else? enjoy. I think is are great, brilliant, wonderful. Okay, I think you're right. This looks like something you really like. Mm -hmm. mm, that's everything, yeah. <laughs> that's all? I think mm -hmm. there are... I think is are all, all right. When you say something is all right, does it mean you really oh, like okay. it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really uh, very quite keen on. Yeah, I think this one also yeah. shows that you really like something a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's talk about number three, things you don't like. I can't stand, I don't like at all. I really hate, hate. okay. I don't like, I don't like at all. Okay. At all. Yeah. I can't stand. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, really get I can't feel all my get nervous. All my nervous. Okay. I can't I feel. Can't feel. Bear. I can't bear. Mm -hmm. Bear. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm I think uh, is awful. Uh, terrible. Dreadful. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awful. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Dreadful. Something you don't mm -hmm. like, of course. Mm -hmm. What else? Drives me crazy. Something that, for example, football drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm, all right. Okay. Let's choose mm -hmm. number two. What about the things which are, you know, in the middle? You don't love okay. them. You don't hate them. I think it's I, all right. It's all, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. I can't stand. No, not interested. In I don't mind. I, I, do, I don't mind. I don't. I'm, I'm not, not very. I'm not keen on. I'm not keen on. I think we answered them all, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now let's confirm your answers. Let's see. I think all of them are correct, but let's take a look uh, on page 127. And we might find uh, some tips which are useful for us. Okay, let's take a look. Mm. All right, here it is. And we also have tips, very good. So let's check, first of all, let's check the part of our answers. So the first box, this is to talk about things you, you love or things you really like. Mm -hmm. So you can say, I really love uh, movies. You can say, I re I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in movies. I'm very interested in movies. I'm, I'm quite interested in movies. I really enjoy movies. I'm really keen on movies. I'm very keen on movies. I'm quite keen on movies. Movies, football, cooking, it could be anything. I'm just using movies as an example. I think movies are great. I think movies are brilliant. I think movies are wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so the beauty of this is you have so many different ways of expressing how you like something. It's better than just mm -hmm. saying, I like, right? So mm -hmm. you, there are many di different ways. This makes, this makes it more interesting to listen to you. All right, mm -hmm. now let's, let's check the ones in the middle. <laughs> So the ones in the middle phrases to say something is okay. You can say, I think movies are all right. I don't mind movies. Mm. All right. I think we only have one mistake, right? Mm -hmm. Because we used, I'm, I, we used, I'm not very keen on, we used it in, in the second group, right? Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, this is the only mistake we have. Uh, mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can say, I really hate movies. I don't like movies at all. I can't stand movies. Movies really get on my nerves. I can't bear movies. I'm not very keen on movies. Movies drive me crazy. I think movies are awful. I think movies are terrible. Maybe, maybe it's not a movie. I think it's the football. <laughs> football? Th these things are yes. different for, I think, for women. <laughs> For women, it's football. <laughs> for men, it's shopping. So for me, yeah. I, I, I can 
I can put shopping in this box with no problem. Yes. <laughs> but yes. If, you, if you pay if you pay attention, you can notice that mm -hmm. even even these expressions they're not equal, right? For example, when you say um, I'm not very keen on, it sounds a lot softer than I can't stand. Do you get the idea? Yeah. Or for example, yeah. if you say um, I'm not very keen on it sounds softer than saying I think football is awful this is you know it's really strong so even in things you mm. like you can control the degree of how much you hate something because sometimes we hate mm. something more than something else for example I hate shopping mm. but I hate the traffic more than shopping so I can say for example I'm not very keen on shopping but if I want to talk about traffic, I will say traffic really gets on my nerves. Or mm. I can say, I think traffic jams are awful. So tra traffic jams, I hate them more. So you get the idea. So in these mm. phrases, yeah. you, can, you can control how much you like or hate something. Okay, so we have some nice tips here. Let's take a look at these tips. All right, so first tip. Uh, Najat, can you read the first tip for us, please? What does it say here? I can't stand, uh, I can't bear mean, I hate. Okay. Great, brilliant, and wonderful all mean, very good. Mm -hmm. Awful, terrible, and what, dreadful, all dreadful. mean, very bad. Dreadful. All right, okay. All right, now the last tip here, Sanan, can you, can you read the last tip for us? What does it okay. say here? Uh, we can use uh, pronouns, nouns, or verb plus ing with the phraser, phrases for likes and dislikes. I really love it. I can't stand football. Waiting in queues uh, really drives me crazy. Uh -huh. Okay, this is an important tip and it's very useful. So mm -hmm. with these expressions, you can classically we use uh, nouns uh, or verb mm -hmm. plus ing, okay? But you can also use a noun mm -hmm. phrase. Waiting in queues, this is a noun phrase. Waiting in queues drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. Going to work early in the morning uh, drives me crazy. Or you can say, I really hate going early mm -hmm. to work in the morning or waking up early in the morning. I really hate waking up early in the morning. Together, waking up early in the morning, it's like a noun. It works like a noun because it's a noun phrase. You get the idea? Mm -hmm. That's, what, it, that's mm -hmm. what they mean here when they say you can use phrases. It doesn't mean you can use any phrase, but you can use most phrases that start with ing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say, for example, I don't like watching football uh, at all. I really hate watching football on TV. But mm -hmm. I think playing it is wonderful. You get the idea. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you're in control of how you want to, to express your feelings. And you have three options. You can use the noun, football. You can use verb plus ing, swimming. You can say, I think swimming is all right. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I think it's all right. Mm. And you can even use uh, a pronoun, especially if the person uh, you're talking to already knows what you're talking about. They will know what the pronoun refers to. So let's say I was talking to you about uh, traffic jams. And then after that, uh, I, I can say, I really hate them. I can use a pronoun, them, because I'm referring to traffic jams. The listener already knows what I'm talking about. Do you get the idea? So here you can use yeah. them. You can use them in different ways. Okay, let's see if we have any other tips about this. And now that's all. All right, so these are very useful and very colorful ways of <laughs> saying I like, saying I don't like and saying something is, is okay in the middle. Um, okay, I think we should use some of these in some examples. Let's do a bit of that. So here we have this list. So we have a list and let me go up a little bit, scroll up. Okay, 
I think that's good enough. So here I'd like, I'd like to make conversations here. So one of you will talk about himself or herself, herself, we don't have hymns. So one of you will talk about herself and then ask, uh, for example, uh, someone in, in here within the class. So I could say, for example, I, uh, I think cooking is okay. Do you like cooking, Najat? So Najat can say, what about you, Najat? Yes. She can answer a yes, no question, present simple. Just say, yes, I do. And then she can talk about how much she likes it. She can say, yes, I do. I really love cooking. I really love cooking, right? So the idea, what I want you to do is, I want you to talk about, let's choose five items from this list. You have to talk about it yourself, express how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. And then you can ask your partner and you can ask your partner in, in any way you want. You can use a, a normal, do you like, blah, blah, blah. Or you can say, what about you? So you can do it uh, either way, okay? So let's start with, let's choose ha Najat and Hajir, okay? So Najat, you can tell us about five things from this list, how much you like them or dislike them. And then you can ask Hajir and we'll see how similar or how different you are. Like first, mm -hmm. uh, I like uh, I love I really love cooking. Do you, do you like cooking, Hajar? Yeah, I love it too. What about um? Do you like uh, tidying up the house? Yes, I'm very tidy. I like tidying up the house, the flat. But, but here, there's a little trick. Now, you're not allowed to use I like. You're not al allowed to use I love. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You have to use the other ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's start, uh, start again. I'm uh, quite interested mm -hmm. in tidying up the flat. Very okay, nice. I'm quite interested in tidying up the flat. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Choose choose four other things, Najat. Uh, I uh, I hate going to weddings. You can't use what hate. The, what? No, you have to use something else. We use it. I don't mind going to weddings. No, no, sorry, <laughs> Najat. <laughs> uh, you you can say how much you hate something, Mufish Mana, but don't mm. use hate. I don't mind. I, I said I don't mind. Okay, okay. Going mm -hmm. to weddings. What yes. about you? Do you like going to weddings, Hajar? Yeah, um, I'm all right with going to wedding. Mm -hmm. um, I'm all right with it. Yes, I think uh, is it right? But uh, even even the way she used it is uh, is okay. I'm all right with it's مش مكتوبة يعني لكن صحيحة سامي. Yeah. لا مكتوبة. I think uh, is all right. Yeah, but she used it. She, yeah, she used another one. She said, "I'm all right with going to weddings." I'm all right with. Yeah. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. Continue. Nizat. I think uh, watching a bank in your shoes uh, is wasting time. Not about you. Um. Um. Okay. Do you like I'm buying not in your shoes? Very keen on. No. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, keen on buying cho buying uh, shoes. What about them? Um, but okay. Okay, you, you don't have to ask her back, uh, okay. Hajar, because mm -hmm. you you'll get a chance to ask someone else. So let okay. her let her do the questions. But a very good answer. I'm not uh, keen on buying new shoes. Good. Okay. Uh, last one, Najat. 
I think uh, watching sports on TV terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> about it's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's awful. Not it's uh, it's terrible. It's just terrible. <laughs> yeah. Very good answer. I think it's awful. Very good. So you use the use the pronoun here, Hajar. I think it's awful, which is good. Yeah. All right, very nice. So this is a good example. You you chose you chose expressions which are kind of new, and you made it mm -hmm. very interesting. Let's do the same thing now with Malak and Sana. So Malak, you can talk about some of these points. Tell us how you feel about them, and then you can ask Sana, and we'll see how similar mm -hmm. or, or different you are. Okay. Uh, I'm very interested uh, in cooking. Uh, what's about you? Um, uh, for me, I uh, I am not uh, keen on uh, cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm. Um, uh, I think uh, uh, going uh, to wedding uh, is a very. Uh, is a great uh, one. Uh, uh, is a great. What mm. about you? Uh, uh, for me, I uh, okay. Um, I don't uh, mind to uh, uh, going to wedding. But without two. Uh, Okay. I don't mind going to wedding. To uh, weddings. I yes. I can't be uh, doing the washing up. What I about you? I, I can't bear. Uh, yeah, I can't bear. Okay. Uh, for me, I am uh, enjoy uh, doing the washing up. Uh, I enjoy. Okay, let's not use enjoy. It's too easy. Let's use another one. Uh, okay. okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am uh, very key, keen on uh, doing the washing up. Good. Very nice. Okay, one okay. last thing. Mara. I think, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, que uh, uh, waiting in uh, quiz uh, yeah. is... Uh, um, awful. Mm -hmm. awful. Cues, yes. Mm -hmm. Waiting in cues uh, is uh, awful. 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 Me uh, too, Allah. <laughs> Me too, Allah. <laughs> Especially in the bank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there is a strong agreement there. Me too. Yeah. All right, very nice. Now, this time, Sana, you will ask Najat, and then um, Hajar can ask Malak. Okay, go ahead. Talk about yourself first. Let's choose just mm -hmm. three. Choose three points. Tell us how you feel about them. You cannot use simple verbs. I like, I don't like, I love, I enjoy, I hate, mm -hmm. not. You have to use the other ones. Okay. <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Sana. Uh, me, the first one. Okay. Yes, and then you'll okay. ask her. Uh, okay. I can't uh, stand uh, uh, watching sport and TV. Okay. And uh, uh, I am not very uh, kind on uh, keen on uh, buying new shoes. And uh, one by one, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, okay. uh, doctor, I, I, I understand if what I like and the dislike. Well, no, it's okay, it's okay. I ask Najat, you should only. ask Najat, but uh, but if uh, you want okay. to talk about uh, yourself first and then uh, you can I, give her a chance, I think you mentioned. Okay, I. This is what I understand. That's why. 
Uh, it's up to you, no problem. You okay, can you can tell you. us first and then ask her and and this uh, way we okay. can see. Okay, I will uh, repeat, okay? All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I can't stand uh, watching sport in t TV. What about you, Najat? Me too. It's really driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think uh, getting up early uh, for me uh, is uh, wonderful. Uh, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I, um, I'm interested in uh, what uh, up early. In getting yeah. up. In getting mm -hmm. up early. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 there is, I think, three, not two, two. Okay. Yeah, the uh, last one. For me, waiting in the queues uh, drives me crazy. What about you? Yes, uh, I'm with you. I agree with you. Um, okay. All right. Okay. That's good. Um, Okay, I can't okay. Uh, bear uh, waiting in queues. I can't bear yeah. waiting in queues. Good, good expression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. now let's give the mic to Hajar. So Hajar, you can ask, you can talk about yourself three points uh, and then you can ask Malak and she'll tell us a little more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Um, I really enjoy in cooking. Okay, you can't use enjoy. Okay. Um, I'm really quite interested in cooking. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. then I don't mind. Uh, I, I, um, okay. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. mind in getting up early. Mm -hmm. And mm, I'm really I'm quite keen on setting up the house or flat. What about you? Uh, sorry, what's the name? Malak. Malak. Yeah. Malak, yeah. yeah. Okay, and the uh, first one you talked about uh, cooking. Yeah. Yes. I uh, think uh, cooking uh, is uh, brilliant mm -hmm. for me too. Okay. And uh, the second one, what about? As, um, about getting up early. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Um, I, um, um, I in, uh, really enjoy uh, in getting up early. Can you use another one? Okay. Um, uh, I think, uh, uh, no, not for it. I am really uh, keen on uh, getting up early. Get up early. Getting up early. Mm -hmm. And the last point, you talked about uh, mm -hmm. tidying up the, the flat. Yes. yes. What do you think about this, yes. Malak? Okay. Um, uh, I'm. Uh, I'm uh, quite interested uh, in uh, tidying up uh, the houses or flat. All right, very good. I'm quite interested in. Of course, when I say you can't use uh, joy or love or hate, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. in real life too. That's not gonna ask me, and I know you can yeah. use them from mm -hmm. elementary and pre-intermediate. We just wanted to mm -hmm. to use the new ones, but in real life. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's better to use the the easy ones. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you use I enjoy, 
I really love, I don't like, I hate. So mm -hmm. these are just for practice. All right, very nice. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. Now it says here, read the comments on the internet forum, then fill in gaps number one to four with the things in photos uh, A to D. So, so let's check the photos first. Mm -hmm. So in the first photo, we can see flying. So you can see an airplane mm -hmm. taking off. In mm -hmm. photo B, what can you see? You can see, what's this in call photo center. B? Call Yeah. Calling, call center. It's a call center, okay. Uh, photo D, photo commuting. C, commuting. Commuting. Mm -hmm. What does commuting mean? <laughs> What does it mean, is that? Uh, when you go to travel to work, yeah. and come back and add something. Mm. That's it. Yeah, so commuting is your trip to work. Exactly, yes, your daily, mm -hmm. your daily trip to work. And uh, the last photo, wh what's the last photo? Reality, reality TV, TV program. What's a reality TV program? Is it a documentary? Um, no, no, about uh, real life. life. Maybe about the social about real life. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you give me an example? I think documentary. You think documentary? No. Mm -hmm. mm, actually, it's not a documentary. It's, it's quite different. Mm. Maybe mm. talking about the... Uh, uh, the so, real life for famous uh, people. Yes, real oh, life. Yeah, of, maybe. Yes, but can you think of an example uh, of, of a reality TV show? Um, uh, like a reality TV show. Like? Like? Uh, uh, Kardashians. Yeah. Kardashians. Yeah. Kardashians. Yeah. Arabs got talent. Yeah. No, Arabs Got Talent is uh, a, no, game, it's a about game show, I think. Me. Or, a, or yeah. a talent show. It's, it's a bit different. But the other one, uh, the Kardashians, what is it called? Going Out. What is the show called? <laughs> Excuse I me. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but that's an example of a reality TV show. Exactly. That's a reality TV show. But yeah. a lot of... Um... Libyans, Libyans, females. Mm -hmm. They like it? Yeah, yes, did it you in the mean, face. You mean we have... About uh, her life, their lives. Uh, do we have From any... the morning till go to work and what she cook and... Uh, do we have something like that? Like a trend. It's a trend. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Um, like the Gulf area. Yeah, in the in the Gulf, you mean they're quite popular these these programs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is a reality TV program. So it's different from a documentary. So it's not the same. Mm. Okay, so uh, we're going to read some comments uh, on the internet forum. Then fill in the gaps with the things in photos A to D. Do the people love or hate these things? So, okay, so let's, um, before we start, let me just very quickly. Uh, I don't know why, but some of the answers are already answered in the book. Um, okay, but uh, mm -hmm. you can start with the, the first two people here we have. We have Michael and the other one, what's her name? I can't see her name. It's uh, Corneen. Okay, so we have two people here. Mm, let's, I'd like you here to read. And after that, decide which of the four things we saw in the photos. We have, we had uh, flying, we had uh, call centers, phone call centers, we had reality, four things, right? Reality TV and what's the other one? Commuting. Commuting, all oh, right, mm. okay. 
Um, All right, so uh, flying. yeah, flying is the first one. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, read these two paragraphs, please, and then decide what's the thing they love or hate. What are they talking about? Which okay. photo are they talking about? Okay, so okay. take a minute, read both of them. Okay, just a second, sorry. I'm going to move the page a little bit. Uh, oops. Okay, have you finished? Who has finished uh, both paragraphs? Yes, I finished. Okay. So what does the first person love or hate? What do you think? Fun and close and... Okay. Hate. Uh, he hates them. Why does he hate yeah. them? He has to wait and... And, the queen. and no answer in the last. Ah, so, it's, <laughs> so they keep you uh, in the queue yeah, for a long time. Start mm -hmm. again. Yes. Yeah, and no one, and no one really solves the problem in, at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. And what about uh, the, the the lady in the second paragraph? What does she love or hate? Reality TV program. Okay. Reality TV shows. She okay. Reality TV oh, okay. shows. Reality TV programs. Why do you think she she loves or hates them? What do you think? I mean, why did you guess reality TV shows? Uh, she she like it um, when it. Um, it's about the celebrities mm -hmm. um, because um, she said that you can see uh, none of them is different to us. Mm -hmm. Maybe some people see the uh, the celebrity is uh, isn't isn't like us, so. Uh, okay. real reality TV mm -hmm. shows they they make us see their lives and yeah. that, that their lives are normal like ours yeah. yeah okay okay yeah so she likes but how do we know she likes uh, reality TV shows I mean how do we know she likes them? 
Mm. She watched them uh, over years. Yeah, but she started in the beginning. She said something. Yeah. Uh, are brilliant, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She said are brilliant. So it means she likes brilliant. whatever it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and the first person, how do we know he doesn't like uh, whatever he's talking about? Drives me crazy. Yeah. Really drives me crazy. Yeah, really drives me crazy. Exactly. Yes. So he he hates it. All right. Okay. Now let's go to the second part. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's see if we can keep this hidden. problem it's already answered mm. yeah all right so the, the person hates commuting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I'd like you to read some of the details why does this why does Marcella hate commuting mm, crowding okay they're crowded maybe mm -hmm. cancel it or uh... Late. Okay. Yes. Without many reasons. Another she, reason. She waited uh, half an hour for the train, but uh, she mm -hmm. didn't see a seat. Yes. Get, get, the get, seat. get the get seat. Get the seat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You stand all the way. Huh? Uh, um, uh, and she heard. Uh, can she be a... listening other people's phone conversation. conversation? Yeah, everybody's talking on the phone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, pay a lot of money for, for tickets. Uh, yeah, you, you have to pay lots of mm. money. And in the end, mm. you, don't, you don't get a seat. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay, so this is Marcella. Let's uh, let's listen to check our last friend here, Hassan. Let's see why he loves flying. Because uh, it's much much safer than much safer. driving. Uh -huh. Do you think Doesn't that's true? Yeah. Do, you yeah, think, uh, do you think flying is safer than driving? Drive? Do you think, I think flying? No, you think no I think it's dangerous. You think it's dangerous? <laughs> yes, <laughs> especially if the distance is very long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About three hours uh, in the sky, <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> Okay. The three hours in the sky is not a long trip. It's not a long trip, yeah. Um, I took I three took hours a... not long a trip. I no. think no. <laughs> I I took I took a trip from from Istanbul to Sao Paulo. It took thirteen hours in, in the in the plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some flights are very very long. Yeah. But I think that what they mean when they say safer is yeah, statistically because, statistics yeah there are much more mm. deaths and much more accidents from cars yeah true and driving than from planes so yeah. you know planes are a bit psychologically they're more scary because you're in the sky mm. so it's mm -hmm. you know yeah. it, it can cause anxiety and you can feel afraid uh, but uh, as far as uh, accidents and uh, problems, cars mm -hmm. are much more dangerous, actually. They kill a lot more people, car accidents. Yeah. Okay, so why does Hassan love flying so much? I think he mentioned a few reasons. Can you tell me some of them? can chat and, and watch films and do a lot of things. True, and of course there are no traffic jams in the sky, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the, all the planes go or reach their destination on time. Of course, if there's no delay yeah. in, in the takeoff, if there's no delay, 
usually they will get on time. Of course, but if there are delays, like here in Libya all the time, then yes. of course, <laughs> then of course the, the, the trips are all delayed. So, okay, okay, very nice. So we uh, learned a little bit about some of these people, about Michael, Corneen, Marcella, and Hassan, what they love and what they hate. And we also learned why. But in this part of the question, we're going to, to do a little bit of true and false. And uh, let's see, can you remember the questions? Who would like to do number one? Uh, read number one and answer number two. Who would like to start first? Okay, I can, uh, number two? Yes, you can do number yes, two. Yes, I can, yeah. He thinks call centers usually solve you, uh, your problems. I think false. Okay, but who are we talking about here? uh the, the first one um uh, michael right yeah yeah okay what about number three who'd like to do number three Mijad, can you do number three okay current sister can't per reality tv program it's a true okay. and the next one hazard mm -hmm. Foreign doesn't like programs with the celebrity. It's false. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, she actually likes them. Okay, yeah. Ma Malak, what about number five? Uh, Marcella had a difficult journey home yesterday. And um, I think it's uh, true. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number six. What about number six? Sana. She joined. Okay, she joined. Listen to the other people's phone conversation. Um, I think true. Oh, no. Does she like listening False. to people on False. the phone? She doesn't she like. It. Yeah. yeah no. she, ah, um, it is noise. Yes, yeah, it's, it's one. Of, it's one of the things hair. she. It's one of the things she hates she about hates uh, mm, about yeah. commuting. About commuting. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right. Mm, Najat, what about number seven? Uh, Hassan's wife isn't keen on flying. It's so false. It's true. No, it's a true. It's true. true. Yes. Is why I fly. think. Fly. I think isn't keen on. She doesn't like uh, flying. Yeah, yeah. she she hates uh, she flying. Hates, uh, flying, yes. Right. And I think it's yeah. false. It's false. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Yes, not, it's false. Not Hassan, his wife. We'll oh, about... this is, it's mm -hmm. uh, true. Yeah. All right. And uh, the last one, Hajir? Hassan often watches films when he is at home. I think it's false because he doesn't mention it already. He, correct. So we don't know. It's true. I haven't mm. time to do at home. Uh, he, she watches him flying. Yeah, he mentioned he mentioned films when he's flying. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. But but your answer yeah, yeah. is is still true. It's still right. I mean, he uh, he, he doesn't he doesn't watch them when he's at home. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. this is these are some questions about uh, the people that we read about, what they hate, what they love. Now, here in the grammar box, uh, okay, let's see if it's not answered. Okay, good, it's not answered. All right, so number five, positive and negative verb forms. Let me show you both pages, so this way. Uh, we can take a look at both of them. Okay, let me zoom in. All right, so let's read the first question. It says, look at the comments on the internet forum again, match the phrases in blue with these verb forms. So this is, a, I think, a straightforward grammar question. Let's look for them and let's decide. Let's start with the first one, okay? So the first one, it says, you're waiting. What's this? Is it present simple? Is it present continuous? Is it present perfect? Is it past simple? What is it? You're waiting. Present. 
Present continuous. Something. Continuous, yes, present continuous. That's right. Present continuous. While you are waiting, this is present continuous. All right, okay. What about this one? You don't want. What's this? You don't want. Mm, present simple. Present simple. It's present simple, correct. Mm -hmm. What about I know? What's this? Present simple. Correct. It's also present simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about mm -hmm. I've seen? A present perfect. Present perfect. Right. Present perfect. What mm -hmm. about I waited? Uh, pre past simple. Past. Yes. That, that's right. Simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Past simple. What about I didn't get? Present simple. Even. Get past simple. Present simple. Correct. Past simple. I didn't oh, get. Past simple. Past simple. Yes. Didn't. Yes, I didn't get. Yes, I think I didn't go. I think, yeah. Yeah. Correct. What about uh, she hasn't flown? What's Negative. This? Present perfect. Present perfect. It's present, present perfect. Present perfect. Right. Yes. What about I'm, I'm not, not feeling? Not. Uh, present continuous. Continuous. Yeah. Correct. It's present continuous. Very nice. Okay, so we found all of these uh, verb forms. Now let's see what they want exactly. It says, mm -hmm. look at Marcella's comment again. Find the negative forms of these sentences. Which verb do we usually make negative? Okay, mm -hmm. so this is her comment. I think that's right. I think I could do that. So let's take a look at Marcella. I think that's right. Marcella, Uh huh. So we want to look. We want to look for the negative of these expressions. When she said, "I think that's right," we want to look for the negative. And I think I could do that. We want to look for the negative. So here we have the positive in the question but we want to find the negative in the text. Can you find it? Where is the negative here, the text? I don't Wait. think. Wait, I really hate. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, okay. Hazu, can you, can you say it? Uh, so. I didn't understand what, what uh, they need. They need the uh, the negative of this. Uh, I don't think that's right. That's it. Correct. Okay. I don't think that's right. This is the negative. So the positive, okay. the, posi mm -hmm. the positive is I think that's right. And the negative is I don't think I that's don't right. Think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the negative of I think I couldn't do that? I can't be a real. No. I don't mm. think I, I don't, don't think, think I, I, could could do do, I could do that. Right. I don't think I could mm -hmm. do that. That's correct. I don't think mm -hmm. I could do that. This is the negative. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what about Hassan's comments here? It says, look at Hassan's comment. Find, let me see the rest of the question. Uh, find another way to say these phrases. Which word can we use instead of not a and mm. not any when we use there is, there are? Okay, let's check the first part of the question first. It says, which word can we use instead of not a and not any? And mm. we want to use these with uh, there are or there is. So normally you can say there aren't any cars in our street, or you can say uh, there isn't uh, an apple in the cupboard. There isn't an apple, there isn't a pen. There is uh, no better way to travel. Mm, okay, let's check, let's take a look. But first of all, let's check the comments they want mm -hmm. us to, to look for. There are no traffic rooms. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Right? There are no traffic jams. And, yes. and there is no there are no traffic no. jams. No. This, has, this has the same meaning as saying mm -hmm. there aren't there any are traffic. No. Right? It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. There's no difference. Yeah. But but we didn't use aren't, right? Mm -hmm. Or isn't. We didn't there use isn't. No. 
Oh, or yes, yeah. no, there are mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other expression, mm -hmm. there isn't a better way to travel. What's the sentence that has the same? There is no, there is no better, no better, better way, to way to travel. That's it. There is no better way to travel. So this means that no is very useful. You can use it with there is and there are, right? Which is quite mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Because before when we studied the rule, we only studied it with using uh, isn't and aren't, right? For countable and uncountable. There is yeah. a park. There isn't a park. There is an apple. There, uh, there isn't an apple. There are people. There aren't people, right? So this is how we normally use negatives. Yeah. With there is. Excuse me. Excuse me, doctor. Yeah. Sometimes we use it. So we say, no way. Just no way. No way. We use it. But there is no way if you want to use it. But I think the focus here. It's not there is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get your point. No way. But my point is using no when you use there is and there are. Do you get the idea? Using there is and there are, using it with no. Instead, instead, instead of not any and not a. This doesn't mean not any and not a are wrong. It just means this is another option. You have a new, a new addition or a new option. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So here in our next part. They want us to use uh, negatives. Um, what's the negative of always? Uh, never. Always. Mm -hmm. Never. never. And, and you, you can find them in the article, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, um, okay. I don't know if you can see all of them, but um, because I don't want to move the page. Well, so. Never. I never have time. Never. To... OK. Uh, never. Mm -hmm. What about? Uh, um, what about uh, usually? Hardly ever. Okay, hardly ever. Yeah. What about uh, all? No, no one. None. 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 What about uh, everyone? No one. No one. No one. What about both? Neither. 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 Let's take a look. Let, let's let's see just a second. So let's find them. We have neither, which is correct. This means that this is correct. Mm -hmm. We have neither. Mm -hmm. We have none. None. We have no, no. I hate We have never. Mm -hmm. Um but we don't hardly have ever. Ah, we also have hardly ever. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, we have hate. It is in the blue hate. And red. Yeah, it's in pink, yeah. but I don't know why it's pink. Yes, but let's... yeah, because it's already uh, already answered. Yeah, it's already answered mm. for for uh, love, love, hate. It's answered. It's an example. Yeah. Yeah, none, no one, none, neither, never, mm. hardly ever. Mm, all right, so let's take a quick look before we end this. Uh, exercise. Let's take a look at the summary. Let's see if there's anything we need to to keep in mind. So subject question, blah blah. Question tags. Okay, let me change the the page view. All right, and zoom out. I think we missed it. All right, here it is. So the focus is uh, positive and negative verb forms. Okay, so we answered the first part. I don't think there is, uh, or there are, there are no. Mm. Okay, it says you can make, you can make a positive uh, sentence using uh, here, using I don't think. Okay, who can read this mm -hmm. point, please? Uh, Malak, can you read this point? 
Okay. Um, we don't uh, make uh, negative sentences uh, with I don't think. I don't think that's right. Not I think that's not right. That is that isn't right. I don't think I could do that. Not I think I couldn't do that. Mm, you get the idea. The negative put it put it before think. If you want to mm -hmm. use the, the expression think and you want to say mm -hmm. something negative, don't put the negative with the thing you want to talk about. Put the negative in mm -hmm. front of think. Mm -hmm. So you, if you want to say, I don't think I can, or if you say, I think I can ski, the negative is, is I don't think I can ski. Mish, I think I can mm -hmm. ski. Do you get the idea? The negative goes mm -hmm. with yeah. think, hatam, I think. This is what the tip is trying to say. Um, Hajar, can you check the second tip? What does it say? Can you read it? Okay. Uh, we can use no to make negative with there, with there is. Mm -hmm. There are. Um, there are. There are. There aren't any traffic jam. There are no traffic jams. Um, there isn't better way to travel. There is no better way to travel. All right. So this means no is very flexible. You can use it instead of isn't, and you can use it yeah. instead of aren't. Right? Mm -hmm. OK. And I think the last two tips we have here for. All right. So here they're telling us a little bit about adverbs of frequency. Uh, I think we talked about, no, not in pre intermediate. No, Najat, can you check this tip, please? What does it say? Yes, we had it. Uh, <laughs> we talked about listen. it, right? Yeah. We can say don't. It sounded, it sounded familiar. We can say don't always, usually, often. Yes. But no, don't sometimes, hardly ever, never. Yeah. Yeah. We can say mm. everyone or everybody and no one or nobody. All right. OK. Okay. Continue. You can continue, yeah. We don't usually use double negative. We say, I uh, didn't see anyone. No, I didn't see no one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We use plural uh, verbs, verb forms with both. Both my sister have got class. We use singular verb forms with neither. Neither of them likes driving. Mm. Mm. You see, it's it's a bit strange, right? Because we're still talking yeah. about the sisters. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because if you're talking, يعني في الحالتين نحن أنت تتكلم على plural. You're talking about sisters, mm. but in the mm -hmm. in the positive, you have to use both. But it's time in the plural. Both my sisters mm -hmm. have. يعني كاني قلتي both of them have, right? But in the mm -hmm. negative, you have to use the singular form. Neither of them mm. likes. Yani mm -hmm. singular. she doesn't like, she doesn't like. Neither yeah. of them likes. So there's a there's a bit of a change here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of the same, I think. The same thing happened here in English. Anyways, um, hopefully in our next lesson, I think we will do more exercises about this. So we'll get a chance to, to actually use these tips, especially in the next exercise. Let me show you what it is. Um, did I send uh, the workbook of this book? Did I send the workbook? I think, yes. Malak, I, yeah. sent, I sent received it. it. Sana, I sent you the workbook. Uh, Malak, yes. I think I sent it too, right? I said maybe yeah. one, I think. Not both of them? Okay, I will let's check. Check, it, uh, please check. If I haven't sent you both books, please uh, remind me so I can send you the workbook. It's very useful. And it, I think okay. it's important at this level because you need to use some of the things mm -hmm. you, in the exercises, this way you don't forget them. So this is the best way to remember them. So please uh, remind me if you haven't received it. And also uh, the link. Me, um, um... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah. I have a receiver just one book. Uh-huh. Okay. So this means I'll send you the workbook tonight. Okay. 
And also the link to the video, I haven't sent it to you, Najat, right? The first lesson. Did I send you the first lesson? Also the, the workbook. <laughs> the workbook and the first lesson, both I haven't sent them yet, right? I haven't sent neither of them yet. Yes. All right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So thank you for your time. No yeah, I'll thank see you. you. You're welcome. I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, feel free to send me on the inbox. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. Then have a good thank night. Thank you. You're welcome. You Bye -bye. too. Have a good night. Good night. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.